What's up guys? As you can see, I'm at SEMA and I have an assistant today. So if you don't know what SEMA is, it's one of the biggest automotive trade shows in the United States. And we're gonna take the cameras around and show you guys what we can see. Let's go check it out. This is a beast. This is the new Earth Roamer XV HD. Just came out. the heck is this must be, must be a grill yeah, it's like a camping grill put your uh, firewood underneath there Hi, we are inside SEMA All right, so let's go into the main hall. Check it out, I'm at the Volant Performance booth at SEMA. They got a 511 truck that caught my eye because this bumper, I'd never seen anything like this. Look at this, they custom fitted this bumper to kind of match the grill of this uh, Raptor. Get the LEDs in there. But look at this, they got these wings. I've never seen a bumper with these kind of wing things sticking out. These windshield branch deflectors, they go up to this beefy roof rack that is just the beefiest rack i've ever seen all right so check this out i'm at the daystar booth at sema and this jeep caught my eye because there's two engines under the hood so from the front it looks like pretty much a normal jeep but then you as you get closer you see two engines under the hood you got two v6s i think it's a v6 yeah two v6s in there and it's turbocharged it's crazy so technically this thing is a 12 cylinder engine look at that one two three four five six and there's another set on the other side look how long his hood is that's like i don't know five feet long <laughs> that is awesome 
I've never seen anything like that. Crazy. Only at SEMA you're gonna see something crazy like this. Oh, 100 miles per hour, look at that. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh, he stuck it. He just did a double. I'm at the Nitto booth and this uh, truck here caught my eye because I've never seen anything like this before. That is nuts. Look how short the hood is actually. This Jeep caught my eye. I'm at the uh, Fox factory booth and this Jeep has dual axles in the back. Check this out. Stop by the Pitbull tires booth because this Jeep caught my eye. Look at the size of this thing. That is insane. Oh, this is the Hawk Designs Jeep. It's got like Captain America kind of thing going on with the A. That is cool. Check out the, uh, like the, it's like aviation style steering wheel. Oh, it is. Yeah, Captain America. There's the shield right there. Check it out. It has a Captain America shield on the back. Captain America. What's up, guys? I'm at SEMA. And this Forerunner, I believe it's a Forerunner, right? Yep. Forerunner caught my eye, but what's most important is what's inside the Forerunner. I got Zach here. Introduce yourself to the world. My name is Zach Roof, and I'm the channel marketing manager for uh, Dometic and the uh, CFX mobile refrigerators. So this is our 95 dual zone. So this is two independent compartments where you can independently set the temperature to be fridge freezer, nice. freezer fridge. So both of these can go down to minus seven degrees. They can both be at uh, 35 degrees, whichever one you want. Check it out. I filmed this last year at SEMA. We're back again. This is the Christini all wheel drive motorcycle. This year, uh, well, if you don't know, they have a drive shaft on both sides. They got a drive shaft. So this front wheel has power. And then uh, this year they have molly straps for all your gear. So if you want to strap any kind of uh, gear to your bike, you got tons of ways to do that. When you stop by the James Baru booth, you don't know who these guys are. They make really cool rooftop tents. And theirs are really low profile. They don't flip out. They just come straight up. So there's not a lot of space that they take up. It's just enough to get the job done. Ryan, introduce yourself to the world. I'm Ryan Evans. I'm with Black Forest Gear by Wabasto. And uh, we brought with us a pretty unique vehicle here. This is maybe one of the only real uh, military J8 Jeeps in the building. Really? Uh, so in the US, you cannot get a diesel. And uh, this one has a diesel under the hood. And, can we pop uh, the hood and look at it? Yeah, and see what it looks like since, since no one has one? So you can see the dryer vent is uh, typically the, the giveaway as to the Jeep being military. Uh, but it's nice four cylinder, 2.8 liter, uh, via Matori diesel engine. Uh, sealed air box is uh, pretty nice and a little, little different. Actually functional with the uh, hood vent there. So it's not just a pretty hood vent. It's actually very functional. This is our, our piece here from Black Forest Gear. It's called the throwback roof and it replaces the freedom panels. I stopped by the Linex booth because this vehicle caught my eye. Check this thing out. Looks like a Hummer, right? Or it looks, looks like some type of military vehicle. This is actually a Polaris uh, concept vehicle. As you can see right there, it says Polaris. This is a concept vehicle called the Dagger made for the military. I'm assuming the concept behind this is, is uh, the military is looking for a small, lightweight vehicle that you can transport inside of a helicopter. So you need this, the more narrow wheelbase than some of the bigger vehicles. And also it's lightweight, so you, you can transport it pretty much anywhere in the world. Probably not too concerned about being bulletproof because you want to be, you know, fast, you know, shoot fast, get out, kind of like recon type vehicle, in and out quick. Kind of like uh, what the Navy SEALs used to use back in the old days. Used to have those desert patrol vehicles. I stopped by the Go Rhino booth because they have a badass bumper. Check this out. This bumper has a drawer in it that you can lock. By the way, this is at the Putco booth, blinding me. Look how bright those things are. All right, so it's lunchtime at SEMA. You're looking at $30 worth of burgers and fries and drinks.
right, so I'm gonna ride one of these right here. I'm going in. And there's no way to ride one Check that out. You don't see that every day. It looks like a Suburban that's been shrunk down. It took off the two doors in the back and made it a two door. <laughs> Check this out. So when you look at this from the front, it looks like a Tundra, but it's actually a Sequoia. It has a Sequoia body with a Tundra front end. That's cool. I like that. All right, so we saw all of the inside and the outside of the main SEMA show. They also have an event across the street. Let's go check it out. And we're about to drive the Kia Stinger for the first time. You guys make yourselves comfy. <laughs> I can't hold this camera. Hold it. Hold that camera. There it is. All the way through. Looking for some more chicanes with the shuffle steering. He's got the policeman shuffle going. Ah, you gotta love that. Through the tunnel, here comes the tunnel. Oh, crap. Then you got a sharp right at the end, so be ready for it. Woo! He gets after it. All right, bring us to a stop at the stop sign desk. What's the verdict? What do you think? I love this thing, and this is awesome. Yeah. I'd buy right. one. I, you'd buy one? I would buy one. Uh, I have a helmet on because I'm going to go drifting in the new Kia Stinger. Cool. This is uh, pretty much a stock Stinger. Except for the except drift. For we added a hydraulic handbrake right here. So uh, what was the engine specs again and all that good stuff? It's, uh, it's a twin turbo V6. It's 365 horsepower. Nice. Eight speed auto. Alright guys, hit that like button to support my channel, appreciate it, helps me out a lot. Hit subscribe if you just found my channel, you never know what you're going to find here. And leave a comment below, later. <laughs>